What's up, guys? Welcome to Slops Locks Home Run Edition. Holy shit, today is the day. I think this is the one. I can't wait to hit this parlay tonight. But first, let's talk a little bit about last night. For the second day in a row, we had a guy that didn't even make the lineup, Matt Beerling. He, like, second day in a row that the guy would have hit, like, four home runs, too. Apparently, he's having back spasms. Again, out of the lineup, what did we know? So we didn't get to even watch him. Then we had Brian De La Cruz. Never really close. I think he struck out a couple times. There was one time, though, when he did strike out on the third pitch, on the pitch that he finally struck out on. He took a swing. It looked like he was trying to hit the ball to space. Missed badly. Had to go sit down. So he really wasn't close, but I felt like he was kind of close. I felt like he was trying for us. And then Jake Fraley, the Cincinnati Reds. That one felt right. That was the most right-feeling home run pick yesterday. Did not hit. It sucked. What are you going to do? But today's a new day, and I'm going to answer a question. I keep getting asked, Slop, why do you do all these lotto parlays? Because they're fun. That's why you do them. Because for one, you could turn $5 into like $600. I don't even know what today's is, but it's like five, $600 for 5 bucks. Also, we got to keep in mind, back in the day, we didn't even have these. You know what we had? We had money lines run lines and uh totals there wasn't even alt totals there was literally those three things that you could bet on in baseball that was it what we used to have to do if we wanted to make a lotto which i think i invented back in 2006 i'm pretty sure i did we have to look it up i'm not sure but i'm pretty sure i did we used to have to like parlay six different run lines and you would end up with like a ten dollars to win like a thousand parlay and to answer the question have you ever hit one of these lotto parlays yes we hit a home run parlay already this season and back on may 8 2007 i hit a six team ten dollars to get like a thousand plus dollar lotto parlay the great justin morneau hit a 10th inning three run home run for the twins to win seven to four over the white Sox, which cash it for me when you hit a lotto parlay like that you never stop doing them, okay? So we're going to start our lotto tonight with the great Julio Rodriguez of the Seattle Mariners. He's plus 600 at win to hit a home run. This guy's plus 450 at Fandle right now. He's plus 390 at Caesars. That really doesn't mean he's going to hit a home run tonight, but it feels damn good to say that to people. We look smart if this guy jacks one because we're taking him plus 600 at win. The thing is, he easily could. He's only got two home runs in June, but whatever. He's still hitting the ball hard. And even though he's right-handed, he can still get one out of the Little League right field in Yankee Stadium tonight. He's got four opposite field home runs this season. All we need is the right pitcher, and Johnny Brito is that guy. He's given up 13 dingers between the majors and minors this season. Eight of them have been the right-handed batters. He got moved down from the majors to the minors at the end of May, and since then he's pitched four times. He's given up a home run in all four of those games. Three in one game, six in total. Rodriguez could hit two tonight. Maybe more. Next, we're going Lewis Robert, plus 400. This is at win. This guy looks like he's ready to go on a heater, and the best place to bet him is win. FanDuel has plus 420, so technically there are better, but lineups aren't even out yet. If he's not in the lineup, then your bet at win voids. Your bet at FanDuel does not void. They always come up and pitch hit when this happens. So basically what you're doing is you're betting them plus 420 to hit a pinch hit home run. The safest thing you can do, take the plus 400 at win. You're good to go when the lineups come out. Like, you don't even care. Either he's in or he's out, but it's not going to matter to you. Looking at the game logs, the last three times he made contact with a baseball, the thing went off of his bat at at least 102 miles per hour exit velocity. One of those balls landed in 2024. We just need the right pitcher for him. I think that pitcher could be Martin Perez. He's only given up 12 home runs this season, but 11 of them have come on the road. Not sure what happens when he leaves his house, but it's not good and it causes him to give up dongs. He's a lefty, and like most lefties, he gives it up to righties. Lewis Robert loves lefties, just like Perez. In fact, the ball that he hit the 2024 the other night was off a lefty, Andrew Haney. I think he smacks another dinger tonight. Finally, Mike Trout, plus 270 at win. This is a little chalky, but whatever. Plus 270 is the best price in the game right now, and that feels good. I'm not going to sit here and tell you who Mike Trout is. We all know who Mike Trout is. He hits baseballs hard and far. You probably already know he hit a forcing fastball 408 feet the other night off of Zach Greinke. He's got 13 home runs off a righty so far this season, and he's got another right-handed pitcher opposing him tonight and Michael Grove. The same Michael Grove who gave up six home runs in his last 15 innings of work. Four of those came last game. Righties like Trout love hitting against Grove. Five of the eight home runs Grove has given up have come against right-handed batters. 
This feels like the greatest home run bet of all time. That's going to do it for the Dinger Parlay. $5 to win $647.50. That feels right. I could use a hit like that. I know you can too. If you haven't seen the strikeout show yet today, go check that out right now. We still got time to get in on those pitchers. I'll see you guys tomorrow.